This is equals Imperialis, aka the Imperial Moth. This was found on our porch about one week ago. And it laid some eggs and it fell to the ground, so we put it in this little bucket here. And now we're going to count the eggs and dissect the moth and put it back, put the little eggs back on a fresh leaf and bring it outside. So this is the information that, uh, that I could gather on the imperial moth. So this was the adult moth that we just saw. It's about, about five inches wide. So I said we found it a week ago, so it just died pretty much yesterday. And it is um, July 24th right now. So this is the time frame when you'll see these adult moths. So now we're jumping over to the eggs. And these will um, hatch, I guess, in about two weeks. And then there'll be larvae. They'll, they'll be like green-yellow caterpillars. Then they'll be turning into black-orange caterpillars. They change about five, five times. They'll eat the leaves. They'll even eat the silk that they generate over themselves. And then once they're ready, they'll go down to the soil and burrow underground for their pupa stage where they get the hard shell and stay there for most of the year and then come back out as adults around July and August again. So let me use this little dissection kit we got here. the moth. Let's roll the eggs. Get all these eggs together. So this moth laid about about three groups of eggs in three different places. We just brought them all together. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. About 47 eggs here, and there's still an egg attached to the lower end of this moth right here. there right at the end. So now let's just take apart this moth. Right, we have a ruler here. Wingspan is about four and a half inches wide. The body is about two inches. So now I'm just going to this is the underside, I guess. I don't know if this is the proper term for insects, but this is maybe the ventral side of the insect. So I'll just make a cut down the middle, see if there's any more eggs inside there, and then we'll go from there. So I'll just support the wings with these tools. Just go down the middle here very soft it's just breaking apart there is an odor coming out of this and I'm just gonna have to pull away look at that there's a whole bunch of eggs in there So here's one of the legs here, here. So I couldn't cut because the material was just so, so soft. But look at how many more eggs are inside there. Maybe the moth died too early. There's 
there's so many more eggs inside here. It is full of eggs. When they said on the website that there was approximately 200 eggs, well, we've got like 50 out here and there's got to be like at least 50 or more just stuffed in here. This is just full of eggs, this whole body. So let me get let me get these eggs out real quick. I'll use this tool here. So many more all the way up to the head. There's the body of it, and there's the head. It just smells like old vegetation because obviously what do they eat? They just eat leaves. It's like rotten vegetation. There's one right there. So that's it for that. left inside the head here all the way up to the head these eggs are really hard they're almost like BBs one of them dropped down and hit the porch and it bounced like five times before it rolled off the porch This is what's left of the Imperial Moth. We have four wings. All the way up to the head. We have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. We have some vestigial mouth parts underneath here. Two eyes. A soft, fuzzy head. And these are all the eggs I scraped out of that abdomen. And these are the ones that were found before that they, they were actually laid. So this is the Eagles Imperialis, Imperial Moth.